Hi all, this is just a quick video to share with you my plans, you know, on how I intend to protect my hair while it's, you know, in the braids. In my other video, I told you I was going to put my hair protective styling and I chose to do, it's not such a big size braid, but I've used an extension that doesn't give it a very tight knit. Um, and it's loose as you can see it's loose on the hair so it's not so tight on the hair and on the scalp also it's not so tight so my hair is not being pulled and stretched or suffocating it's not it's not that so um, I like what I have here and I intend to keep it for a month or maybe even slightly more than a month but I'm doing something different this time around um, if you've watched my intro videos and my earlier on videos, you would know that I haven't been very kind to my hair. And this time around, I've decided to consciously take care of my hair so that um, I could see whether my hair can actually grow long. It is looking healthy, so the few times I've taken good care of it in the last few months, um, it is looking healthy, but it can be better and it could grow longer. So now is a conscious effort to rebrand me. As you know about my channel, it's about rebranding me. Doing things I keep saying I will do, I will do, I will do, and then never get around doing it. So um, I'm going to show you what I have done. So I put my hair in, in the braids, as you can see. I'm using this hair fertilizer. You, you probably have seen a lot of it on YouTube, but I've always known about this product right from back home in Nigeria. I've always known about the product and there's another one my mom usually sends to me anytime she thinks my hair isn't doing quite well and she needs my hair to like pick up and it, it does help and I'll be doing a review on that particular one much later. But this is the one I'm using at the moment. I'm going to be using this on my scalp. Um, every week so i've done a bit today and then one week from today i would use it again on my scalp just on my scalp every week till i take this out so how do i maintain what is my plan to maintain moisture because you need to keep your hair moist not dripping wet moist which means that it's um it's protected and so i have two mixtures here two mixtures here uh, one is living silica and i've labeled this so i don't get myself confused and I'll be doing a video on what the measurement is that I have used here. And since it's my first time using it, um, I try to be moderate, you know, and just see how it goes on my hair. But Silica has an amazing reviews on helping your nails and um, your hair, your nails, your skin. Um, read, a, read about it. Silica is quite good. You can consume it, but I'm using it um, as a hairspray rather than drinking it. And I'll explain why in another video when I'm doing um, a bamboo tea. So I'm also having the bamboo tea and I'll, I'll explain why I'm using this as a spritz and not drinking, which I can do because I can consume it. Then I've got this. This is my aloe vera. What well, is aloe vera and a bit of other things inside? Well, I found out that um, I spent three weeks to study my hair and to find out what's working. What does my hair love? And I found out that when I put aloe vera on my hair, my hair just loved it. You know, it, it was soft. There was just something about it. It's like, ooh, yummy, yummy. You know, it just felt good. The hair just said, I like this. And I said, okay, you like aloe vera. I'm going to give you more aloe vera. So um, I'm using aloe vera here in this bottle. But I've put aloe vera and I've put water and I've put some oils in. Um, you can put any oil that you like but i'm on a journey so i'm testing out and trying out um, oils i found out that i'm warming to um, extra virgin oil coconut oil um, i like the black castor oil but the black castor oil isn't here so but i will do another video on what's really inside this bottle and i will be spraying this if i feel my hair dries out quite fast so if my if i feel my hair is dry i would spray so all i do is you know shake it up there's oil there's water there's aloe vera in here it's just to shake it all up and then you know just spray on the hair you know just spray not to drip but just make sure that the hair gets some moisture and the weather is cold um, very warm now the weather is very warm so it's quite drying you know it's very hot and um quite drying so it's it's good to protect the hair that's one of the reasons why i'm actually covering my hair because 
it's kind of a very warm weather at the moment here in London. So yeah, um, it's just a spray and then just keep the hair moist, you know, and I will just do it. There's no time to when I'm going to do this. If I just, you know, touch my hair and I feel, oh, I think you need to be fed. Then I will just spray this on my hair just to keep it moist. Now this, these are added steps I'm taking to do my hair in this rebranding me and in my natural hair journey. I've promised myself to be a good girl, you know, and to, to be consistent at this because you can't say your hair isn't growing or your hair isn't doing well if you're not consistently taking the steps that you ought to take. And so I am saying to myself, you need to behave, you know, and take your take action. So I have taken my time to buy what I need and I have mixed up what I need, you know, and now I'm going to spray what I need on my hair. And then I'm keep, my plan is to keep this hair for a month. And if I, if I can keep it for longer, I will keep it for longer, but I would, you know, probably wash it and I'll keep doing this. So my hair fertilizer once a week on the base. Yeah. My silica spritz will be every three days, two or three days. You know, um, I might even make it once in four days. But as long as I remember, I am going to spray my spritz with silica in it. And if you're on the journey and you're, you know, you want to follow me and, you know, get your own hair healthy. I think the most important thing is getting your hair healthy before you think about length. So I want a healthy hair and um, then, and I think a healthy hair will grow and then you have length. So I'm very pleased. My hairdresser was very pleased when she saw my hair. She was like, oh, your hair is growing. Your hair looks rich. Your hair is this, your hair is that. Um, there are no grays, you know, I have, I'm not doing anything to not have gray hair. I just do not have gray hair. So I, I don't know if that's a good thing or, you know, or a bad thing. So let's see how it's, um, going to work out for me, um, during this period. And when I take out my braids, I would let, I would, you know, I would show you what my hair looks like. If my hair is better, if my hair is happy, I think it's going to be happy compared to, you know, how I've always treated it, you know, kept it long and not have actually kept been too busy to care. You know, sometimes when you, you put your hair in protective styling like this, you tend to forget because it's freedom, isn't it? You don't have to be always touching your hair and you just forget to take care of it because you just think it's hidden away. Um, but I am going to be taking care of it, even though it's like this, you know, um, and then maybe once in a while, just put my finger in and just do a bit of massage, you know, the, the, with the, it's so loose that I can just put my finger right through and she's done a good job. My nails are not catching my, catching through on my hair. So just put your finger through and then, you know, just massage the scalp. Maybe when I'm watching a movie or something, um, because it's needed for blood flow. So yeah, that's, that's about it. That's about it. Um, so tell me, have you started your hair journey? And if you have what's working for you, let me know. Is there something you want me to try out and do a review? I will try out, um, but nothing too drastic, <laughs> but I, I, I will be telling you ex everything I'm doing. I'm trying out some teas also. I'll do a video on the teas that I'm, I'm having. Um, some of them are really enjoying them. I love teas anyway without hair journey or rebranding i just love teas but i'm now moving direction from the kind of teas i drink to more medicinal herbal teas thank you very much for watching and you know leave a comment let me know how you're doing with your hair journey um, if you have questions do you know comment on the comment box so that i can answer your questions when i see them i can do a video just to answer the questions but um, at the moment I'm enjoying this, you know, it was feeling a bit stressful initially, but is it now? Now it's more fun, you know, because I'm learning so much about my hair. I'm learning so much about products I can use. I'm making some DIY oils and um, DIY a lot of things, you know, and I've always been a, a craft handy person. I like using my hands to make things. So it's quite interesting to be making oils and, you know, um, just making stuff for for yourself for yourself so yeah um, I'll be sharing everything I'm doing with you so that you learn with me on this journey as I learn and I would share what I have used what I have practiced 
and I will tell you exactly how it feels and what's working, what's not working for me. But remember, everyone is different. Everyone's hair is different and everybody's skin type is different. You know, the, some people react to certain things. Everyone is different. So whatever I share here on this channel, I would like you to do your due diligence. Go and do your research. Go and find out if it works for you, you know, if it's good for you. Don't just swallow it all hook, line, and sinker because Placida said, no, don't do that. Go try it out and see um, what works. So, like, I am trying quite a number of things, you know, doing a lot of research and trying a number of things. And I like easy. So, I'm also going to find out what works and what's easiest, you know, what's working for my hair and what's easiest. Um, and then I'll just stick to that. You know, there's no need doing too many things and just getting yourself more confused than you started. So I will be trying out everything that I come on this channel and talk about. Like I told you about my silica and water out, you know, I'm trying it out and I'll be able to tell you later if it's a go-go, if it's a plus, whether to carry on. And if you've used silica and water for your hair, you know, as a spray, do let me know um, how it went. Did you like it? Did it work for you? Let me know. And in my bottle also, there's a few things in this bottle. There's a few things. The intention was just to have water and aloe vera. Then I added oil. Like, you know, when you start adding oil, you just tend to add more oil. So there's a few things in this uh, mixture. Um, so it'd be nice to see how I get on with this. You know, it's quite a good amount here. So it will be nice to see how I get on with this mixture. Um, already, there's something that, that's in it that smells really nice. I need to go and find out what I put in it that's, that, that smells really nice. So it will be nice to see how you know I get on with this and how my hair responds. And then I will be able to share with you. But let me know if you have spray bottles for your hair. What's in your spray bottle? What do you put in it? Uh, what has worked for you? What hasn't worked for you? And if you've used silica and water for your hair, or if you, you consume it, um, let me know how you consume it, yeah? Or how you mix it. Um, and if you've used hair fertilizer, if you've used that before, um, also let me know um, how you heard about it. Is it working for you? And how long you've been using it, yeah? So, and one thing I know is that a lot of the information that I've got have come in from comments from channels and amazon reviews you know people talk um comment i learn a lot from comments i learn a lot from comments so um do comment you never know who needs your help you never know who is reading and who would get an answer from something that you say okay thank you very much i'll see you in my next